In today's video, we're going to start discussing and implementing neural networks in scikit-learn. We're going to work on the cancer data set that comes pre-processed with scikit-learn. Uh, but first, let's go through a few obligatory concepts of neural networks. Now, to be more specific, we're going to uh, train a multi-layer perceptron for the purpose of classifying tumor samples into malignant or benign. MLPs are probably the most basic models of feed-forward neural networks, meaning that the flow of information goes only one direction, unlike methods that include backpropagation or other non-unidirectional implementations of simple um, or uh, more deep neural networks. Now, according to Andreas Miller and Sarah Guidos' machine learning book, which I'm going to link to in the description, multilayer perceptrons, MLPs, can be viewed as uh, generalizations of linear models that basically go through multiple stages of processing to reach a decision or a prediction. Now, remember from a previous video on linear models that the decision or prediction is based on the uh, weighted sum of features x0, x1, and so on, multiplied by the coefficients w0, w1, and so on, all the way to wp. The helpful mglearn uh, library created by Mueller is going to help us visualize everything better. So let's start uh, remembering how linear models looked like. So we're going to import mglearn and we're going to plot. So mglearn plots plot logistic regression graph. OK, shift enter to run this. So this is basically how logistic regression uh, looks like or works. The output Y here is basically our Y hat from the function. Now what's different uh, for MLPs is that weights are calculated multiple times. So let's try and view this. Uh, a uh, let's try and view a single hidden layer multi-layer perceptron so mg learn plots plot single hidden layer graph so like i've said this is for uh, a multi-layer perceptron with a single hidden layer, which is basically a simple neural network. Now, a neural network with multiple hidden layers is called a deep neural network. Let's try and see how that one looks like, but I guess you could assume how it looks like just by looking at the, the single hidden layer that I've just plotted. So plots, plot, uh, two hidden layer graph. All right. What differentiates uh, neural nets from linear models is that once we computed a weight or a weighted sum for a hidden unit, we are going to additionally apply a nonlinear function to the result. Now, two of the most applied functions are ReLU and 10H. So ReLU stands for Rectified Linear Unit, and 10H is a Tangents uh, Hyperbolicus. Uh, we're not going to go into the specific details of these two for now. What you need to know is that the result um, is used to calculate the output, which is our Y hat. Now, applying these nonlinear functions makes neural nets capable of more complicated computations compared to simple linear models. Um, the specifics of neural networks, even the simple uh, ones, are much more complex and intricate than what I've uh, said here. But I guess we, we have a, starting, a good starting point to apply or to train a multi-layer perceptron on the cancer data set, which we're going to do in the next video. 
So please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to, to get notified. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.